The new vent window is installed, so that should solve any air leaks that we were having with the K5 Blazer. Okay, guys, uh, we're not going to have the 74 done in time for Dino's, so we're going to be working on the K5 Blazer today. I've got too many parts that haven't arrived to finish the 74. We're about a month away from Dino's, so we're just going to do some few things the Blazer needs to be ready. Uh, so what I'm going to be doing today is replacing this vent window. It leaks real bad, leaks air. I mean, it's old. I've rubber coated it, trying to seal it up a little bit just to get me by. But we finally came back in stock, got a new one. So what we're going to be doing today is just getting this door panel off so I can get to all the bolts and all the screws. Uh, <clears throat> should just be like one bolt holding it in somewhere behind here. And then you got these screws along here. So three screws up top. I think one bolt inside here. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get this door panel off. I just gotta remove these four screws on the bottom, remove the uh, window crank and remove this bezel and should come off. So like I said, these four screws along the bottom, window crank, bezel comes off. So let me get it off and I'll show you what we need to do to get the vent window out. Okay guys, we got the window or the door panel off. So now what we need to do is get the three bolts off the top of the door frame, or three screws, I should say, and then the one bolt right here. So I will get these removed. I will come back and I'll set the tripod up so you can see me remove the window. Okay, guys, we got everything loose. So now we can kind of just get our window seal out of the track. And as we come up with it, we have to rotate it to clear where our bolt went through. You'll see that in a sec. Just take it nice and slow so you don't scratch nothing, don't tear nothing up. Now we just reverse the process, put the new window in. Uh, I'll show you just as I start putting it in, but I will do all the fine tuning off camera because sometimes you got to fiddle with them since they're new. The seals are a lot tighter. Uh, you have to fiddle with them quite a bit. I had to fiddle with the driver's side to get it to really set in there the way I wanted it to. So I uh, will put the new one in and then we will, or I'll just roughly put it in so you see that process and I will go from there. Okay guys, so we're going to reverse the process now. Let me actually zoom out and get a little better. So we're just gonna be nice and slow going in so we don't scratch anything. Which it can be kind of a pain to get it in there. Just take your time. It is a rather tight fit in some areas. All right, so now that we're in, we can rotate it downwards. Kind of watch ourselves. Sorry if I'm too much in the camera angle, guys. And then we can start pressing it into place. So now here comes all the fiddling since it's mostly in. Now I've got to mess with it a bunch to get everything to line up the way I want it to. So I'm going to do this off camera. So this video is not two hours long and uh, I'll come back whenever I got to get the rubber seals out the way I want them and everything like that. Okay, guys, we got the new vent window in. We've got the gasket on the outside, so it should seal. Um, now all that is left is the, honestly, the worst part is uh, getting all the window felt back into the track. You will need quite a bit of glass cleaner because it's just it's just a pain to work with and then your windows are also going to be a little tighter in the new window now in the new vent window so what i'm going to get to is uh just trying to run this track or when this run this window felt 
down into this track all the way to the bottom which is just a pain so uh it'll be using a lot of foamy glass cleaner and just a lot of time so i'm gonna get to it and uh i'll show you the final result it's not a super in-depth video just replacing a vent okay window. guys new vent window is in you can see the windows rolled up I was actually surprised the window felt actually went in the track very easily this time. I struggled and struggled last time. But uh, as you can see, all new rubbers, all new glass, frame, everything. Uh, LMC actually had one in stock for the passenger side, so I just bought it. Got it installed, so that way won't have air leaking on the way to Dino's this year like we did last year. Uh, next thing I'll be doing is just, there's a little fresh air vent behind there that's blocked off with the... Uh, vintage air and i never put a gasket on it so it leaks a little bit so we'll put that gasket on should solve that issue and all our air leaks should be out of the blazer that way be able to keep heat in easier keep cooling easier and the vent window just looks a lot better being completely replaced so now all i'm gonna do is slap this thing back together and we'll be good to go